Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me in a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be drawing a black and white study of a cat eye. I haven't done a black and white drawing in a long time and I think it's noticeable. So I wanted to talk a little bit while I'm drawing this about um, the importance of learning how to do black and white drawings, um, especially before you want to get on with color work. So um, let's explain my materials first. I'm working with graphite. I have a um, 2B pencil by Faber-Castell, the 9000 series. Then I have a 4B graphite pencil by Stabilo. So I don't really mind which brand to use. I just use what I have laying around at the moment. And then for the very darkest parts, I use a black pencil and that's called the greedy color extra soft nero pencil or nero extra soft and this is a charcoal pencil this so this is not 100 percent graphite it's not a graphite study well it is but it also has a little bit of charcoal i don't mind some people mind but i really like the combination of charcoal and graphite i've been using the combination for many years so for this video, I'm doing this study of a cat eye. I found the reference on Pixabay, so it's uh, royalty free. Um, I also provide the reference on uh, Patreon. And yeah, so I wanted to talk a little bit about the importance of doing black and white work. When I started drawing, I did only black and white work. I didn't want to use color. I was scared of color. So I only did graphite work and charcoal work. And um, I worked with those for a couple of years and then I decided to move on to color as well as I felt confident enough to do that. And those that practice with black and white that has helped me a lot in order to also get my color work look um, decent from the very start. And it's all about it's all about contrast. It's all about values. The difference between light and dark is what's going to make your work look realistic. So that is what you um, what you learn when working with black and white, with graphite or charcoal. You can even use pastels, just black and white pastels to uh, do black and white work with that. You can do black and white painting. So there are a lot of options there. So that would be one of my most important tips on improving your, uh, your drawings. It is to do black and white studies, even if your goal is to do very colorful work. If your goal is realism, master black and white, master contrast and values, and then move on to the colors because it's going to help you and get an easier start with your color work. I was very happy that I had a lot of experience with graphite and charcoal before I did colored pencil. The medium itself, the colored pencil medium was very challenging to me. Using colors as well was very challenging, but I was able to learn it quite fast because I already had an understanding of lighting, of anatomy, um, animal anatomy, and that has really helped me to learn colored pencil fast. So to talk a little bit about this drawing, I started out by lightly sketching out the eye shape and then I started the shading. So I like to put in the darkest parts first. So I basically always start with the outline of the eye with the eyelids. In this case, the eyelids are very dark. So I did that right away with the charcoal. That helps judge the rest of the values within the eye better. So that's why I like to start with the darkest areas. For the pupil, I also use the charcoal, though the pupil is almost never completely black or completely dark. So I started off with a lighter base layer of charcoal, blended it out and then darkened up the areas that were really dark and left the center parts a little bit lighter to get some more depth in the eye. Then I started building up the layers within the iris. Um, here I noticed that I was struggling a little bit with getting the iris dark enough. 
Now that I look back at it, I feel like I could have gone a little bit darker, but as it was just a study, I decided to leave it like this. I also pulled out some highlights with my kneaded eraser and my Tombow Mono Zero eraser. And after that, I did some of the fur around the eye, not super detailed, but um, just some fur to get some, some contrasting textures in the drawing. I wanted to make this tutorial for Patreon beginner friendly, so that's why I left it quite medium detailed, I would say. But it was also just a very nice study for myself. So that wraps up this video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what your biggest tip for learning black and white work is. Also, any suggestions for next videos are always appreciated. I'm so sorry if we're not uploading a lot this month. I have a bit of a struggle with sticking to a schedule. I have a very busy month this month with commissions and Patreon and all these other things. So I hope to get started with uploading weekly again in February, but, um, but we'll see what happens. I also want to get live streaming again, but that I haven't had time for this month. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. All the materials are listed in the description as well. So have a look there if you're interested and then I'll see you in the next one.